to Betty. Oh, we got my partner with me tonight, you guys. Um, Mr. Matt is at a baseball game, a Bedlam baseball with OU and OSU downtown with the boys. And so, the girl, she just trapes across me. Hello. Thank you for that, Abigail. Um, so the girls are just here tonight. How are you, everybody? How's it going? Let's see if we can get that. Uh, what's up, Buttercup? Hey, girl. Let's see. We're going to do some turquoise wax. Finish the front of this little beach scene. Uh, you may have missed the last time I was on here. This looked a little bit different. I stayed up really late that night, totally inspired by the beach. I'm going to name this one Sunset in Capri. My summer series is all about beaches, island, tropical, all of the things. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, so no, there won't be Matt. So I'm going to do the best I can to read the comments and answer your questions. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, my mailing list is where I send out my full color list. Um, call it a color recipe. Um, but anyway, I worked on this a lot the other night after I got off. It was, sometimes you just have to paint alone. Um, but I was totally inspired. I just kept going and going and going and going. And I made a bunch of little videos. So you can also see those on in my Instagram. Um, okay, I am going to tilt the camera up. I actually added the turquoise wax already up here, and I'm going to bring it in. I'll bring in the camera before we go. But what I want to do is give this piece, um, for me, right now, this is a little bit too pop. It's popping a little bit too much. So my plan is, I've already lightly sanded it with my sanding sponge. <clears throat> And I've already also put a coat of clear wax over the whole front um, or the, the whole finish. So I, what I have today is my turquoise wax shipwrecked. Okay. Um, how is everybody doing? I have my turquoise. Okay. Sister, come here. My apologies. Abby. I have the door open. Come here. Abby. Okay. It's really warm today, like 88, something ridiculous. And so everybody's out walking now, of course, because it's cooling off a little bit. Um, with the boys at the baseball game. Hello, Instagram. Thanks for being here. We have Facebook and we have YouTube. Um, hi, Mama. So I want to tone this down just a little bit. So I'm grabbing my turquoise wax, which you may think, wait a minute, why turquoise? But I'm going to do turquoise and then I'm also going to do black. So I have clear. Um, I want to do some shading. And I kind of want to give it just a little bit. Yeah, she's protecting me. I'm sorry. I could leave and go get her, um, and I will if she doesn't stop here in just a second. Uh, the black is going to antique it a lot. It's just, like I said, it's a little bit too bright. I'm going to call it Sunset in Capri. Um, my membership group helped me the other day with a whole bunch of names that were perfect for the piece of furniture that we're working on. And um, anyway, that's where I'm going to go. All of my color recipe will be emailed to you, those of you on the email list. Um, I'm going to jump right in. This is called Shipwrecked. It's a finishing wax. Guys, if you're using wax on your furniture, you do not fit. That is your top coat. You do not need to put something else. Um, I get that question a lot. Well, what do I use? Um, you know, if I'm using wax, do I have to put something else? No, no, no. You do not have to put anything else if you are using wax. It is your top coat. So I'm going to go in a circular motion and get all of it. I painted a lot of this with my fingers. All of this with my fingers, but I did, of course, I brought in some brushwork here for the palm trees. Um, there's a lot of texture down here, and I want to make sure I really get that turquoise wax in all of that texture. And then I'm going to grab the black, too. So we're just going to work on wax today, guys. I hope everybody's having a good week. Wednesdays are my call days. Yeah, for sure. All wax for you, too. That's right. Sunset and Capri. Yes. Doesn't that sound nice? I don't know who thought of that name, but one of the ladies in my group thought of that one. Um, and I made a list. And I, I said, you guys have hooked me up for the names of all my pieces this entire summer series. So I'm going to put this turquoise on and I'm going to bring it down. I kind of want to give it just a little bit of more of a vintage look. Anybody ever used colored waxes? If so, what is your favorite colored wax? You know I use white and black a lot. But if you have a favorite, I'd love to know what it is. 
Um, hello. Hi, Karen, over on Instagram. I see you over there. Uh, Lisa, sorry, sweetie. Um, good. Like I said, Matt's not here. Michelle is here. So if you guys need a link, we have um, the workshop coming up in just four weeks in San Diego. Anybody plans on coming, grab your ticket now. I know we do have some left. And the finger painting group, you guys, if you are in that group, a ton of you signed up for it. We start working tomorrow, every Thursday at 11 a.m. We start working. The replay is always available, so don't panic if you can't catch it. We're going to start on Thursday mornings at 11 for now. But we are going to get started tomorrow, so set your calendars. Make sure your notifications are turned on, just like you do for this page, if you want to get notified when I'm live. All right, let's check out some black. I want to show you how we're going to deepen it and just kind of create some more shadows. So when I'm when I'm adding in black wax, I'm going to be looking around the edges and where the actual base of the piece is. And I'm going to go right over where. Oh, my goodness. Let's bring you closer. I don't need to see me. Janet, hello, hello. Michelle's got links for you guys. Do you have any questions or tools that I'm using? All of that's on my website as well. Makes it a little bit easier to find everything, you know what? Matt's at a baseball game. OU, OU, and OSU baseball are playing each other downtown. And so he took both of our boys, Julia, they are down there, and I decided to stay here and paint with you guys. Oh, I love the black and the turquoise together. So I'm doing turquoise and then coming back over in some areas with the black. Hi, Marlene. Hello, everybody. I can never get my paint added into the wax right. It is tri tricky when you do that. It is a little bit tricky. I think it takes a little bit of time. You will. Never say never, sister. There's so much texture. And the wax, you just basically let the texture pull the wax off the brush. That's what we're doing. It's just, the whole scene is just too bright for me. Um, the sun, it's, it's beautiful, but I want it more antique, okay? I don't want this to look like a new fake paint finish. I'm looking for an antique paint, paint finish. Look at that sunset. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. The black is really adding depth. It does, doesn't it? It does. It does. It does. It does. Okay, back to turquoise. I'm going to put the turquoise over the whole thing. I'm working on a makeover in our Creative Connection, and we were using uh, Cherry Picked. I can't wait to show you guys. We're using um, Cherry Picked, which is a deep purple red. And then we're also adding, um, put some uh, turquoise. So it's the blues and the oranges and stuff are complementing each other. Really beautiful. And it's a very distressed finish. I cannot wait to get that finished with them on Friday. And then we'll get that on the staging wall, too. So we might get two pieces done this week, you guys. Two new pieces. Oh, 
Um, so those of you that were on here the other night that were giving uh, Matt and I a challenge of using tiny hands, we ordered them to challenge us. We're all over it. We're going to be having to paint with our feet. Not a problem. We can do it. And then you guys challenged us. I don't know what you wanted us to do with them, but <laughs> not a problem. I got a whole bag full of tiny hands. Am I, I'm in it. Lisa, what up? Um, I love the shipwreck wax. It seems to work with all the colors. Kimberly, it really does. It really does. I'm just putting it all over it, getting it in it. Like my trees, I finger painted, so they're very uh, textured. I built up all those colors. It just gets right in there. Oh my goodness. And I want this piece to be pretty. I wanted it to be like it had a sheer tent over it. That's what I was thinking. I wanted it to be tinted. Now black. You're going to get a lot of depth when you add in the black. If you get too much, don't worry. Just come back in with the clear and kind of erase it if you need to. But we already did clear on here. I did clear earlier today, so it had time to dry. So we would be good to go today, okay? So I'm going to call this Sunset in Capri and Sunday I'll email the mailing, the color recipe if you've missed that, no worries. I'm using all DIY paint. It's a mixture of finger painting and my brushes from Paint Pixie. Just bring it on the texture. Oh, I love how the sand, the sand looks really good too. All right, let's move up a little bit, guys. He's so quiet without my guy here. I have his name saved as my guy on my phone. I always have like for years, right? And so my kids have got to where they call him my guy. So Elijah will walk in the house and go, what's up, my guy? <laughs> Weird kid. What's up, my guy? That's what his mama calls him. All right, you guys see? Okay. Where is my guy? Hi, Rita. He took the boys to watch OU baseball play OSU baseball. And so um, the three of them and Julia are all downtown watching that game. It's just started. It was supposed to start at 7.30, and now it's 8.45, and it's literally just now getting started. Uh, the game, it's college baseball time. So, you know, that's what they're into. So... I opted to stay here and paint with you guys. Okay. All right, you can see actually where I left the turquoise. I stopped the turquoise wax right here. So just consider it like it's just tinted. The overall, it's going to have like a really faint tint of blue to it. Okay. You'll be able to see this a lot better as we go over the yellows and the oranges and pinks. Actually, I already did the whole top. I went all the way up and started on it earlier because I had this idea and I wanted to make sure it was going to work out and then I actually did like it. <laughs> and I do. So that worked out. Okay. 
You guys let me know. Has anybody painted a sunset before on a dresser? Sunset, sunrise, beach scene. What have you painted? Let me know. Oh, I just love it. Okay. Let's see. Lunar eclipse too. <laughs> Lolly. <laughs> You're welcome, Tasha. Welcome. What crystals and what kind of water can I use to tap water? Oh, y'all are talking. Thank you, Michelle, for posting the latest podcast. Tomorrow we have Brent Haynes coming out every Thursday as my new podcast. I have um, Brent Haynes coming on tomorrow, you guys, the new podcast. Um, Karen, I have that side done. I have this side to do still because I will do a tutorial on it and do some videos. You have not done a landscape that I didn't repaint down that. I will shoot. All right, just checking in to see if I'm missing anything over here on Instagram. Nothing? Okay. Don't want to miss anything. I'm going to get a little tiny bit of black. Like I said, the, fo the uh, Foxtrot and Woodworks Designs, Mr. Brent Haynes will be out on the podcast tomorrow. Um, and then next week's will be Christy Wright with Red Echo Studio. You guys, if you're planning on submitting to the Turquoise Irish Journal, you've got to hurry. We've just got a few days left for your submissions before we're closing it down. We're super excited. Our inspiration is Barbados. You can tell we've got beach on our mind, sunsets, beach, all these colors. I've got a piece of furniture that Michelle, my Michelle on here, delivered to me yesterday. It's the perfect piece to go inside and our exclusive feature inside the journal for those that are subscribed. I'll debut it there and it's going to be a wonderful piece. Okay, I just love this. Okay, so we did clear wax, then turquoise, and then I'm putting black in a few of the areas. It's really deepening it, isn't it? I'm glad y'all are laughing amongst yourselves. Thank you, Rosie Bryan. Thank you, Michelle. They should. Um, Debbie Thompson, we start tomorrow. That's what I was just mentioning is on um, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Central Time in our group. I'll be live with you all that are in the finger painting group. Um, we're going to go over some basics and um, we're going to dive right in. All in tomorrow. 11 a.m. But if you have to miss it, don't even worry about it. We're going to um, always have the replay available. I won't delete any videos. So you just come back at your own time, like a library, check out what you need when you need it to make it totally accessible just for you. But I will be there. And if something ever happens, I will give you plenty of notice. But for now, we're going to just stick with that time. I'm going to give you guys um, I'm going to let you vote. I'm going to give you a couple other options and try to let you, um, if there's another time that works better for other people. I'll tell you what. I think I want, I, I'm standing back looking at it, and I think I actually want um, this area to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit more black, just kind of standing back looking at, oh, let's tilt this down a little bit. Looking forward to finger painting, me too, Derek. Yes, nine Pacific. I am loving the book, The Artist's Way. Me too, Jasmine, I am. It's It gets harder and harder each week, doesn't it? The things that we're talking about and the, the uh, realities of what is, <laughs> 
has been kind of coming into fruition for some of us as we work on our book club together. But I am too, sister. I'm starting to get used to doing my morning pages and journaling a little bit more. I, the art journaling is one thing, but actually writing words first thing in the morning is a little bit more difficult. But I'm, I'm learning to embrace it, and I have to believe it's definitely going to be good for me. Okay, I want this darker. She is still barking. My guess is the neighbors are having a powwow out in the cul-de-sac because we're at the end of the street. My guess is they are all their dogs and everything are having a powwow out front. And she's just sitting in here going, ah, I want to play. So my apologies. If Matt was here, we would take care of that already. Oh, I just love the trees too. Like I said, we've used four different colors on the trees here. So they're built up in layers. Oh my goodness. The palm trees are still just a little bit too bright for me. Let me stand back and look at it. What do you guys think? Is that better? Oh, good, Pam. Yay. Yeah, she does. She's awkward. Don't forget to put your crystals and moon water out tonight. Oh, thank you. Full moon tonight. I feel like we're always on when we have a full moon, Jessica. Okay, I got to look at it real quick. Um, my son actually has several friends playing in the, in the baseball tournament. So they were excited to go watch and hopefully catch some of their friends playing on TV tonight. I'm, I've got it on in there in the other room. I'm going to go watch here in a minute. Okay. Can you all see the bottom of this? You can't really see a lot of this turquoise. Be able to see it much better going over that coral. So let's get the black on now, okay? Let's get that black. Hopefully, I can get this on the staging wall this week sometime. Worked on several things today, projects in between calls. Do you guys want to see what I worked on? I have to go out to the garage or the living room, actually. I'll go to the living room if y'all want to see what I worked on today. Pretty excited about it. Michelle's the only one that's seen. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. I feel much better about it. I feel like it was just popping off that, off there just a little bit too much. I really wanted more of a, I don't know, just vintage feel or something. Uh, you think I should show them? I like the turquoise over the sand because that's how beaches look in the Caribbean when the blue water goes. Hi, Irma. Thank you. Gotta say, palm trees are not always the easiest to paint on time. How are you at home run? 
Thank you, Carissa. I, I've only done it a couple times. <laughs> I've only done it a couple times, but um, okay, let me go get my project. I'm going to show you guys. Um, be open-minded and kind. I'll be right back. Hey, Barky Pants. So I just committed the ultimate rude thing, right? Like the ultimate get up and leave alive. Like that is ultimately the rudest thing you could do. Okay. So while this is drying. Okay. What do you think? Antique vintage clips, canvas. What do you think? Can y'all see? I've had the most fun. The most fun. So I think I posted this one the other day. And then I went ahead and did two more today. What do you think? Not like I can read the comments anyway. I'm like, I'm covering my face. I can't see. Something different, right? Something different. My modified some of my paintings. Um, they didn't sell the way they were. And so I have modified them and made them OMG so fun. So these are going to be made. One of them is already available on my website, but I just squeezed in enough time so if you remember this is old trinity and she got a different look going on doesn't she i love it even better i honestly love it so much better i realized i should have done this in the first place um, so they are on heavy canvas. We've got these antique clips. They just hang on the wall like a wall hanging. Fun? I don't know. I can't read any comments. So these are the three I've done. I've still got two more to do. But one of them is a lighthouse. And then, um, I don't know what the other one is. They're really stunning. That's so cool. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. That one is crazy gorgeous. Thank you guys. I see you on the grams too. Thank you. Yep, they are canvas. Thick canvas. You like them? So that was okay? It's thick canvas. It's totally different. Thank you, Rita. Like scarves and bags? I may. They're kind of subdued though. I don't know. I couldn't imagine the the scarves and the bags, but um, I tell you what, the um, they're like I said, they're thick canvas, and um, these the series uh, they, they still had the paintings, and I got this idea, and I'm like, I yeah, I know what I needed to do. That's what I should have done in the first place. Jacqueline, thank you so much for the hearts too. I appreciate you. Um, but anyway. They are going to be available. I don't, uh, one of them's already on my website. Hey, sister girl, go lay down. <laughs> all right. I guess I need to let you all go. I know we haven't been on but 29 minutes, um, but I've got the wax on and I'm going to do a couple of tutorials tomorrow um, and then I'm going to put it on the staging wall and we'll be good to go. Thank you. When will they be on your website? I don't know, Michelle. I've got the one on there right now. The Sea Shack is already on there right now. You guys, new, new artwork, new project. I've got this one on there, but the rest of them aren't on yet. 
and they take take a while if you know what I'm saying so good to see you all Susie good to see you too so anyway um that one is photographed and on my Instagram so thanks you all um thank you so much for letting me use the turquoise wax let's come in closer thank you guys thank you thank you patty i'm excited about it let's come in okay abby just put her foot in the black wax and she walked off that a girl come here come back in here dumb nuts silly girl <laughs> now she walked on the painting Ooh, where's Matt when we need him? Come here. Come here. Lay down, city girl. Lay down. Lay down. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you all so you can see it a lot closer. And what I didn't show you was up top. I did this earlier before I came on. I know Instagram, this is awkward, right? Thank you. I didn't I did this before because I wanted to make sure that I liked it. Okay. And as we go down here, thank you all for hanging out. This is our number one in our series. Number two will also be done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any questions? I'm just making sure Karen, hold on baby. Hold on sweet cheeks. She's trying to be a good girl. She is. She's trying. Usually she's waiting on everybody to come home. Um, all right, everyone. Appreciate you all. Have a good night. We'll be back Friday night. I have three of my Empowered by Design ladies coming on with us. Um, they might be nervous, so bring your love and encouragement like you always do, okay? We'll see you then.